Hi guys, this is a new series where I'll be talking about individual characters in the Fortnite storyline who may not get enough of the limelight that they deserve. And today we'll be looking at Mancake, one of the best hunters across all realities. Locate the best hunters across all the eyes. A character first introduced to us in Chapter 2, Season 5, where he was one of the main hunters for the Imagine Order. He had his own house, look. Of course, he was making sure that people didn't leave the loop. Jones was tasked by Sloan to make sure loopers don't escape through the exposed zero point, and Jones would end up traveling to different realities, and one of them would be reality 3255, while of course was Mancake's reality. Jones said he wanted to order himself a killer breakfast, and that Mancake was stacked. Mancake. A flapjack forged on a griddle of rage. Mancake in his own reality was a bank robbing outlaw who may have had a bit of a syrup issue. It seemed Jones got Mancake to help him with Kratos, but Mancake didn't want any slice in that pizza. Pie. Cake. Anyway, Mancake seemed to want something done about Gecko having bounties for over a billion V-Bucks or something crazy stuff posted up in his own butter barn. But I think they're friends now, more on that later. Mancake and Kratos would actually go head to head again, but you wouldn't see the result of that fight. And the butter barn, which is Mancake's point of interest, actually went out of business. Because when the stonk skin came to the Fortnite item shop, they actually made a joke of it. Because if you look closely here, you can see BBRN, that is the butter barn. And as you can see, it is down by 999%. Yeah, completely out of business. But the Butter Barn would return in Chapter 3, Season 1. Mancake would end up joining the Seven's resistance, and not even that, he would actually be one of the battalion leaders. For he imagined would give you a challenge to send these party invitations to battalion leaders across the map, and Mancake would be one of them. And talking about Gecko earlier on, he was one of the other battalion leaders. Or no, Gecko's character collection book actually has him down as the undisputed leader of the seven aligned foodie battalion. So I don't know where Mancake stands on that. From working with the Imagine Order to now working with the seven to save all reality. Him and the seven, of course, last season did defeat the Imagined Order and all seems peaceful on the island, or does it? We now have the new peace syndicate and it seems like Mancake has worked with them before in dialogue with Evie, one of the members of the peace syndicate, or at least the secret weapon. Mancake says, I've worked with the syndicate once, be careful. And this is coming from Mancake, a outlaw, a hunter, a leader of one of the Seven's resistant battalions. And he's saying be careful the peace syndicate. But according to Mancake's character collection book, he seems to want to take a bit of a back seat this season and chill out a bit. Obviously, that's the, that's the theme of the season. Vibing, relax, don't worry about it. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think about Mancake, and let me know down below who you want to see next. If you do enjoy lore content like this, you may enjoy this one, but leave a like on the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's been your boy Mr. JRY, until next time, bye bye.